Would you look at that? Isn't that a work of art? Thank you so much, Johan Boss. Uh, we're going to start this press conference today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I wanted to uh, sit down with everybody and tell them what is going on. Uh, the title of the video is I have some bad news and I do have some bad news. I am going to surgery today. Um, they are going to put a gas bubble in the back of my eye and I'm going to have to be face down for three or four days, whatever it takes. And this video will be the last video you'll see for a while. So if you wonder what happened to us, nothing happened. Uh, we're not gonna be sawing, of course. And uh, go back, 511 videos. We've got a selection. Go back and enjoy some of the older videos and get caught up and figure out how we got to where we're at today. Yeah. Um, Johan Boss, I had a good conversation with him and he says, what was the first video? And I told him old time sawmill. So I was on the phone with him. He went back and actually looked and he says, oh my God, I want to see these. So yeah. Um, yeah. So otherwise, uh, if you wonder what happened, that's what's happening. Uh, hopefully I come out on the other side with my vision back and uh, sitting back in the saw cab and making you more videos and cutting more lumber. So, uh, and nobody else can go into that saw cab and just start cutting this Saturday to take care of stuff. It just, it just, it's there's too much. Too much to know. On. It's too dangerous. Yes. And uh, we just felt it's better off just to shut the operation down for a few weeks. And uh, I have the best retina surgery. Dr. Michael Lewin is going to take care of me today. And um, we'll let you know. I'll try to keep you updated as much as possible. And I don't know, I might or might not make it to the Bunyan Show, but ZZ, Eddie, and uh, Buzz All Buzzy will be at the Bunyan Show. I'm going to try to make it. We'll see how my recovery is by then. I told him we'll bring him a cot so he can lay behind <laughs> and face down for a little while. <laughs> but hey, thank you so much for supporting this channel and supporting us. Absolutely. And uh, we will talk to you in the future. All right. Bye-bye. Alrighty, we're going to make you a Friday video, and we're just continuing on where we left off. And again, we were talking about my uh, eye problems, and so it's like one of them days I'm having a real bad eye day. But, we're going to get through it. That piece that's on the top there is what I want. Come on, get on there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it completely around. You'll see why. That's that's what I want right there. All right, doggies are down. Is 
I'm going to put that face this up. That's going to go down onto the head blocks. Make sure that we get through it with the saw while we parallel face that. In fact, I'm going to pull up a little bit so we're not dealing with all that counterweight on the back side of it. Master dog can go away. And that back side's nice and flat. Mr. Laser has to say. I'm trying to get a four-footer out of the back. So that's why I'm cutting it the way I'm cutting it there. Oh, we got a piece wedged in there. Not gonna. Oh, it's out. There we go. So we got one slat out of that. I'm not going to cut too much more on this side. In fact, I'm not going to cut any more on this side. Let's bring that around. Put that on the head blocks. Bring the whole thing down to 12 and an eighth or whatever. Because the edger is going to cut them in half. side there. There he is. Oh, let's go with that. I'll get one out of there, which will make two. And let's take it down to 12 inches now. Thin stuff. And everybody's enjoying the watches anyway. A lot of nice sawdust because people want the pine anyway, so we're we're winning all the way around here. Well, that's better than I thought it would be. She 
figured that was a different dimension when I was on that face. It was more of a round log. So we're just going to keep sawing like a meat slicer here. And also this makes some real nice kindling. All the edgings are nice and thin. This smells good. show coming up here shortly. Um, talked to Nathan from out of the woods the other day and he's going to be at the Bunyan show. And I guess Woodmiser's releasing a new battery powered sawmill. And he really wants to see that. Let's put that back to the knees right now. Put the dogs away. I'm just making sure my tapers are stowed away nice and tight. Boom. And we will have boom plaques at the Bunyan Show. And we will sign them for you. Just gonna take off. Uh, let's get into some meat here. Took off a one-inch cut. Beautiful. Gonna saw this down to six inches. Right into a 
but now let's um, let's turn that back. The nicer wood's going to be against the knees right now. Hopefully everybody enjoyed your Friday e video, and this is the pile of logs that came in. Everybody was liking that uh, YouTube short. Sorry about the wind here, everybody. I can't do nothing about Mother Nature here, but it's a little breezy out here. But that is a nice stick of white oak Eddie's sitting on all day long. And uh, yeah, some nice stuff showed up here, and uh, these will be some future videos coming up. Probably sawing next month. Yeah. Well, this will probably be after we get back from the Bunyan show, yeah. but uh, we still got other stuff to saw before the show, and uh, we're just going to keep busy here. Yeah. And uh, thanks for coming along, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Here on the Edmonton, at the bus motor song.